Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do this little summer fresh tutorial. Juicy lips with just a stain of pink. And I'm using eyeshadow colors today that I typically would not ever touch. Cooler toned eyeshadows that I would not really reach for, but I thought I'd try it today. How you can make eyeshadow colors you don't really love really work for you and how to have a soft neutral smoky eye for summertime this is good if you got a cookout or if you uh, you know are walking around you know daytime date I don't know whatever you want to do live your life so I'm gonna start with just my foundation and eyebrows done and I'm gonna get into my Morphe E17 brush and the Morphe 35O palette and I'm going into this kind of like smoky brown color. On me, it's going to look gray. A lot of times, if you have more of like a warm undertone to your skin, you will show more warm tones on your skin. If you are a little bit deeper, got like olive, golden, yellow undertones to your skin, it'll show up a little bit more ash. So whenever I choose browns, if I want it to show up brown, then I will go for a very red brown. But this is pretty ashy. And I'm just using the brush to blend all over my lid and I'm winging it out. Then I'm going to take my Morphe M511 brush and I'm going to go into this really ashy light color and I'm putting that on my lid to uh, brighten it up a little bit. Then with a little bit of a golden color, I'm going in the inner corners of my eyes and uh, I'm going to take a slightly warmer kind of frosty shade to go underneath my, my lash line and in the crease just to add a little bit of brightness. Then I'm gonna go into my Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronze in 35i, and I'm gonna sculpt the cheeks a little bit, add a little bit more warmth, and bronze the neck so they don't know. And I'm gonna go across the chin, across the forehead. Then with my Morphe M520 brush, I'm going to carve out the nose. I find with eyeshadow colors that you don't really love, if you spend a little bit more time contouring, bringing out the natural shadows of your face, you can wear kind of any eyeshadow that you want. As I said before, this isn't typically something I would wear. I'm also going to take my bronzer and I'm going to warm up my crease just so that these ashy tones have something to blend into a little bit easier. And it'll carry the warmth from my cheeks into my crease. Anywhere that's a shadow, I'm adding a little bit of warmth. And I'm darkening it right at the upper bridge of my nose. Also, to kind of bring out the shape of this eyeshadow a little bit more, I'm going to put my concealer on and I'm going to tap it kind of in an angular shape. Just because they're such light colors. And sometimes if you have a light color and it's dull and it's not really doing it for you, but you still want it to have impact, it's nice to highlight and bring out the shapes with concealer. So it's funny how doing your face can actually bring out your eyeshadow. This is my Pro Light Fusion in 01 and 02. 01 is the pink, putting that on the highest parts of my cheekbones and in the inner corners of my eyes. 02 is the more golden tone. And I like mixing them together just because I like the lightness of the 01, but it's pink. And and I like the gold tone from the 02, so if I really want to shine on all of them, I'll mix the two together. Next, with the Rimmel Shake It Fresh Mascara, I'm going to give it a shake and coat my top and bottom lashes. I like to do the first coat of mascara on the top, and then while I have the glue on my lashes, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Fair Lashes today. While the glue sets, I'm going to do the bottom row of mascara, and once that's done, I can go ahead and put my lashes on. With my bottom lashes, and especially when you have eyeshadows that you don't really love the colors of, I really like to bump it up a notch with mascara and lashes. Um, but this eyeshadow didn't turn out too bad, and it's pretty simple and easy to do. So with my lashes, um, I always like to flip them up and put them as close as I can to my lash line, and then wiggling it down as close as I can. When I stick on eyelashes, I like to push them as far as I can to the outer parts of my eye, just so that it keeps the inner corners of my eyes nice and bright, and then when you close your eyes, it doesn't like poke you, which is a nice thing, you know? And then give them a little pinch to make sure that they're staying on there for the whole day. If you want to be extra, which we do, I'm going to put a little bit more mascara on the bottom lashes. And wiggling down and dropping it so that it's straight but when you wiggle it allows you to put more mascara on
Next with the Tarte Lipstick in Rum Punch, I'm going to put just a super light coat on. This is great because it's like a light color with a little bit of warmth so it will neutralize my lip color. And I'm going to take a little bit of this NYX lip stain and I'm going to put it just in the center of my lips to add a little bit of rosiness. I wish I put on just a little bit more to be quite honest with you. And then taking a clear gloss and massaging it in just so it looks like I have just a touch of a lip stain on. And it makes it look nice and juicy, perfect for summer, soft ombre lip. Of course I gotta have makeup on my shirt cause uh, that's how I do. And on my hand, hot mess. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're having a fabulous summer and uh, looking fresh to death. You know what I'm saying? So stay pretty and love yourself. And I will see you guys again in the very next video. Take care.